this is XX Mimi XS2 bringing you a video for this fine Saturday evening. Um, this video, it's late. I seriously, seriously apologize. Um, I kind of talked about my channel, but I'll talk about it here as well. Um, I went to a convention over the weekend between May 15th to the 17th of 2015 called Anime Central or ASEN for short if you live um, around the area I guess um, <laughs> and unfortunately the internet that we had a hotel wasn't free and we didn't want to pay extra for internet so I'm like whatever so I told uh, Naira Busby on Facebook I think it was Friday that I couldn't upload so yeah so you're gonna see this video and the newest video for this week's daily artist channel um, not in this particular video but they'll be uploaded separately because it'll be a very long video if I do that so yeah um, now that that's out of the way we could talk about last week's picture which is this picture here and it was drawing your OC yearbook photo now the problem with this is that um, he didn't go to a, a school where you require to have a uniform or anything so I didn't draw him in a uniform instead I drew some like yearbook picture um, because when he was little I talked about my channel um, he was like a slave and um, he, he lived someone a bad area and so later on in the story he has a better life but not so much better because he's still in that environment and he was forced to wear clothes that um was provided by him so he's actually wearing one of the outfits here and they took a yearbook picture he was, he was somewhat homeschooled so um yeah so I guess you could call it homeschool, but I don't know what you would call it. But anyway, it's a yearbook picture. I, for the end result of this picture, I like it. I don't say I love it, but I like it. Because this was the first time that I colored in GIMP. And the thing with GIMP is that it's nothing like paint to eye, which I knew from the beginning since I started using GIMP several years ago. And I never really tried GIMP, coloring on GIMP, but I have done other things on GIMP in the past, like making stuff for forum websites and shit, like avatars and signatures for myself, and maybe stuff people might want to use or whatever, but I never got requested for it because I was bad at it, so. <laughs> um, but over the years, I've proved so much on GIMP, so I, I know my way around it now, except for making like GIFs or animated pictures I still haven't mastered that yet um, I want to but um, because you have to download a certain part to the uh, picture and everything I me mean, to the program you it, it, it's gonna be difficult but anyway back to the coloring um, I, I don't like the skin at all I, I don't like how the skin came out that's the only problem I have with this picture but I I didn't really like the skin and then again that was the first thing I colored before everything else so over time you're gonna see certain parts of the picture look good some pictures look mediocre and that's one of them the skin color um, but I do like how the hair came out um, just because I figured out certain things as I was coloring so this became more of an experimental picture um, I experimented so much with, I guess, the um, layers and layer mask, which are different. It's sort of like the um, uh, preserve opacity tool in Paint to Side if you put a layer mask on, but not really, because now you can't make a clipping layer and you can't make separate layers to stay on that one layer below. You have to actually make another layer. And just be very careful not to go over the layer, I guess. And yet, you still have to make a clipping mask. Not clipping mask, but a layer mask and stuff. 
So yeah, I'm still going to find tutorials on how to actually color on GIMP though. Because yeah, I really want to color more often on GIMP. Just because it's the first program I was ever exposed to. So yeah. Um, it is a really cool tool. I mean, not cool tool, but a cool program. Like similar to, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Photoshop. So yeah. Hehe. <laughs> Anyways, and about that kind of part, technical part and stuff, so, uh, I had a quiet experience picking out colors for, uh, Azul's Alpha just because, um, my original idea in my head was something different for his top, but instead, I just, I forgot, because it's been a while since I tackled with the picture, and what I really wanted to go for it, because I'm close otherwise, but yeah, I had to really change it up a bit. Um, and also, I I wanted the pictures to be all yellow. That's why the pictures are like, all yellow. I laid down a layer of yellow first. But I did that. Yeah, I did on Gimp. But I did on Patreon side, but whatever. Anyway, um, and it came out pretty cool and neat too. Because yeah, um... I like how the background came out of the picture. It looks like a yearbook picture. Like, really, though. Or, like, a background for a painting. Or something, even doing a painting. <laughs> so, Azul's yearbook picture looks more like a painting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To, to completely follow the theme here. So, uh, whatever. Um, we're getting toward the near the end of the video now. So... I don't really have much to say, except that uh, I'll put the link in the description below of this week's video, which the theme was actually um, to draw your um, OC with his click. So yeah, I'll link in the description below of that so y'all can see and it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys um, in the next video. Bye!